The other day, one of my students said to me, the American R is too soft and delicate. It doesn't sound like me. I'd rather stick to my trill R, the R sound. Many people don't really understand that each language has its own persona, its own sounds, intonation, body language, facial expressions, etc. And that's when the clash happens between your native persona and, for example, example, the American English persona. You don't feel like yourself because you're putting on a different personality, and that's completely fine. And to resolve this clash, you have to answer those questions and be brutally honest when you do it. Why do I need to learn English? To what extent do I need to perfect pronunciation? Do you need to speak in a specific accent? And whether your answer was yes or no, you have to ask yourself why you picked this answer. And most importantly, you have to ask yourself how this is going to impact your life. Because everything you do should be tied to your life's purpose. And if it doesn't serve a need or a purpose, then you are most likely to quit or quit. And when you get to honest answers to those questions, you'll be able to decide for yourself whether you want to preserve your original identity identity, you don't want to erase your identity, you might still have some foreign accent, but for you, it's very okay, you don't have, you know, it's fine. Or you're more open to put on an English persona. Either way, English acquisition is going to be much easier and much more fun.